dipstick is here. Pull your dipstick out. And right here, let me wipe this off and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking so you can see it. At the end of this, you can see some rigid lines. At the bottom of the rigid line is the low mark. At the top of the rigid line is the high mark. So anywhere in between these ridges is safe. If it falls below that, you need to add oil. If it's above that, you're over full and you need to take some out. But anywhere in between, you're good to go. Now, typically on most of these dipsticks, that between the low mark and the high mark is approximately one quart. So. Now, I just changed my oil. Uh, my oil was 14% um, oil life left, which is a little bit too much because it got really black. I wouldn't suggest doing that, and I wouldn't do it again. But at any rate, I'm going to stick it back in here and then pull it out and see where it's located. Now, let it set in there for maybe a couple seconds or so, and then... Pull it back out. Okay. So now, actually, my oil is not this dark. Is what's what uh, what you see here is the new oil is um, mixed with some of the old remnants that was left in there. But I just put in uh, two and a half gallons of of new oil. I used the Rotella. 10 weight, uh, 10 W30, I think it was. And so that's what it looks like now. So it's in the safe zone. Uh, it's about a half a quart low, but that's fine. I'll leave it right there. But that's how you check your oil. i just go ahead and reinsert that. And, and that's it. So that's, it'll be located right here. And this is where you would replenish it, 10W30 uh, in the summertime and 540 in the wintertime. 10W30 in the summertime and 5W40 in the wintertime. And I use the uh, Rotella. All right, there you have it.